I crawled into bed and closed my eyes. I was tired. My body, my mind, and every cell in my body longed for sleep. But I could only toss and turn, becoming a tangle of dank, damp blankets and clothes. Dank blankets. I wanted to get up. Dank blankets. I wanted to get up, but I was just so exhausted. I should be thinking of a way to get back into the library. I should be trying to find a way out of here. There was a gentle tapping at my door, Tristan, causing me to Tristan, bolt upright. Tristan, 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 Tristan. Someone there? Tristan, Tristan. Wow, someone knew how to knock. It's me. Yeah! It's our boy! Tristan? I untangled myself and managed to get the door open. I felt so heavy from being so tired. I brought you this. Tristan! <gasps> What'd you bring me? What'd you bring me? He handed me a small vial of dark liquid. Ooh, blood. It's a mild sedative, but it'll help you sleep. It's hard to sleep here, so Eris makes it for me. I thought Aww. you might like it. Oh my it. god, he's so nice. Tristan! I don't trust how nice you are, but I love You it. don't I trust him? You can't hear his I voice. If you could him. hear his voice, you would trust him. I do trust him, but... I tr I'm trusting him with the knowledge that I probably shouldn't be. Like, he I'm fully aware that he's lying to me about being a human because he's not a human. Right, but, of like, course. I think, he, I think he's completely honest about everything else. Maybe. Uh, did I wake you? King of bringing me sleeping drugs while I'm sleeping. I've been trying to sleep. I'm so tired. Drink that, then. It'll help. It's similar to mild sleep medicine you can get back home. Do you think we're still on Earth somehow? Mm. How can we be? He motioned towards the window that we couldn't see out of. I shrugged. I suppose you're right. Maybe on another planet? This time Tristan shrugged. I've asked, but Eris only tells me that this is Mir. Planet? Dimension? Who knows? I nodded. What else was there to say? I glanced down at the vial. Could I trust such a thing? After drinking the weird wine in Karen's room, did I really want to risk another strange liquid? Uh, yeah. Thank you, Tristan, for bringing this to me. I know it's hard here, but we'll find a way out. Oh. Right. Had said I mentioned the book to him? Should I tell him about it? What if he found it and abandoned me? What if this was all some kind of trap? I trust him. I gripped the vial tighter and tried to decide what to do. Please give me the option. Tell, tell, tell him. Tell, tell him. Tell, tell him. I had to tell him. He might know of a way to get it from Karen. Actually, Seta told me about a book. He scoffed. Seta did? You can't trust her. She likes to toy with people. Okay. You don't think the book is what she says it is? He frowned, and seemed to be thinking it over. I don't know. I guess it's worth checking it out. Was that all she said? I told him everything she had told me. What do you think? We should check it out. Uh, unfortunately, Karen won't let me anywhere near his room. In fact, he won't let well, anyone I would in there. But I was just in there. He lured me in there, actually, earlier. I might be able to get into his room again. Tristan rubbed the back of his neck. He's like, I don't... I don't know he's about like, that. He, I don't know. Karen is... not He's saying. like, you can get in there, but Karen's gonna be horny the whole time. And it's gonna be, like, <laughs> bad. Both on his forehead and, and you on can't his... really consent when you're, like, hypnotized, so... And drinking weird space wine. Space wine. Is anyone here safe? Good point. I felt wobbly on my feet. I glanced at the bed, then down at the vial in my hand. It's okay. You must be really tired. We can speak more later. I nodded, unable to argue. After some good sleep, I might be able to think straight again. Okay. Thank you again. He moved to the door and then paused, giving me a hesitant grin. <laughs> sleep well, new blood. I smiled weakly and waved. <laughs> he left. And again, I was alone. I looked down at the small vial in my hand. Some kind of sleep medicine? Should I risk it? I might not sleep well if I didn't. Give me the option. Tristan said it was similar to a mild sedative on Earth. It should be safe enough. Still, 
Drink it. Drink it. What if it, this chug, is the bad chug, end? Chug. We need to save. We didn't oh. save. We sh Do you want to save? <laughs> we can't save from this menu. Okay. I hope it's not the bad end because Tristan gave it to us. Maybe the I'm bad drinking. end was if you tried to. If you tried to. Um, kill the spider. Kill oh, kill the spider? It's entirely possible. I was thinking of that earlier. Anyway, I sighed. What was the worst that could happen? I pulled the lid off of the vial and drank the potion. It actually tasted like nighttime cold medicine. I sipped some of the wine to help cut the sharp taste and then <gasps> crawled back into bed. Are, what? She's mixing alcohol and medicine. It's sleep medicine. My body started to relax and I fell asleep almost as soon as my head hit and the And I never woke up again. Because I drank wine and <laughs> it could all have been a horrible dream. Fuck. It super wasn't though. It super it wasn't though. I wish that's I wish hey, Jamie, we have a request. The game is hey, perfect, Jamie. but can you please change the it wasn't to it super wasn't though? <laughs> I was still here in this awful place. My stomach grumbled and I glanced at the table. There was no food left. I'd have to venture out to find some. There was no way for me to know how long I had slept. Hours, days, who knew? It irritated me that I didn't know. It was like my mind was constantly fuzzy here, and I had hoped sleeping would help, but it hadn't. Maybe eating would help. We stand food. I kicked off, I, yeah, I kicked off the heavy blankets and dragged myself out of bed by sheer will. My body felt stiff and slow. I stretched and rolled my shoulders. It helped a little bit, but food would probably help more. I headed out to the hallway. Was I supposed to write down i never wrote down hey you remember when tristan said if you want to remember something write yeah. it down well also and we, never we also it remembered it when the guy's close so i think both of those things will come up again mm. as i stepped out i heard a door close behind me i glanced back and saw brenton had emer emerged shortly after i had he looks as if i had caught him doing something bad brenton brenton i waited a moment for him to speak but he looked ready to run back up to his tower do you think he's just like really embarrassed I think he's just, like, really embarrassed. Brenton? He cleared his throat. <clears throat> well, Eudora. Brenton. Eris must have told him my name. I couldn't remember if I had bothered to correct him before. Just call me Ellie. Uh, okay. Waiting for him to say something else might take a long time. Do you know the way to the kitchen? Oh, uh... I do. I, I was actually... Eris refuses to bring meals to my room, so I have to get them myself. I was headed there now. Perfect. We can go together. He looked a bit hesitant and eyed me for a moment. I'm not going to touch your hair again, dude. I'm sorry. I suppose I can find my own way. No! I mean, I'll help you. It's this way. He led me down the hallway. He kept glancing at me through the corner of his eye. He might have been trying to be discreet, but he was failing miserably. Oh. Like, can I help you, bro? When we got to the dining hall, a far door burst open and Aris rushed into the room. Don't nope. even think about it. I just mopped the floor. But... Just stay there, both of you. I'll get you something. Oops. Then they were gone, slamming the door they had come through. Do you think that the, that line was only there because the artist didn't have time to draw a kitchen? Well, because it's specifically because it's the uh, the demo. Maybe that, or maybe just like there were so many like maybe Jamie couldn't afford to pay the artist for like any I more background. Well, the Kickstarter is to fund the thing. <gasps> Oh, you're right. Okay, so maybe it is specifically because of the demo. Anyway, then they were gone, slamming the door they had come through. I think it's just realistic. It's like, I takes just mop. Do Aris not come in here. I think it gives Eris more character. Brenton nodded and glanced away. He was looking back down the hall towards the tower. Okay, dude, I get it. We're awkward. Yes, please stay and eat with me. I'm begging you. Yay! Will you sit with me and eat? What? You know what? I don't really want to eat alone right now. But it's fine if you don't want to. It's not fine. No, It'll make you a jerk. I mean, yes, I will eat with you. If okay, you want. Okay, for reference, uh, Sarah, he kind of sounds like... You remember Beauty and the Beast? 
that yeah. whole like way B started acting once he was like trying to be nice. nice. Yeah, that's I what he sounds yeah, like. Yeah, I was thinking Beauty and the Beast when we were up in his room. I don't know. I don't remember why, but yeah, yeah, I love that for me. <laughs> I did ask, so I do want. Huh. Right. <laughs> Eris appeared and handed us each a plate. I like when the uh, second character's like animation comes in. And it kind of looks like they're bumping the other person like f with a full body. Oh yeah, check. no, I love it. Well, then they the vanish. whole like I really like the way that they did it with um, Brenton and Karen earlier in Karen's introduction, uh -huh. or is it Brenton's int introduction? It was Brenton's intro introduction. introduction, where like Karen like pushed around him. Mm -hmm, I thought that, that was, was really funny. well done. Then they vanished back into the room I could only assume was the kitchen. Bye. I started to move to the table, but Brenton seemed frozen on the spot. Brenton, I know you know how to sit at a table, honey. Come on, you said you'd stay with me. This was a good chance to get information from him. He might let his guard down while we eat. Uh, okay. He sat at the table and looked down at his plate. We had both been given an overstuffed sandwich and a small bottle of something to drink. It was brown, so it wasn't wine, probably. Please don't tell me this is rum or something. Ha, <laughs> no. It's probably apple cider. Eris doesn't always serve wine with the meals. I took a tentative sip, and Brenton was right. This is nice change, I think. I was never all that fond of wine. No? Then... What did you like to drink? Hard liquors mixed with something sweet, usually. Girly drinks, I guess. I shrugged. The sandwich was so thick I had to smash it down as best I could. It was as good as all the other food. Eris is a pretty good cook. You don't cook a sandwich, but yeah. You don't like Eris? I sighed. What could I say to that? It wasn't that I didn't like Eris, it was much more complicated than that. And why was Brenton always singing their praises, anyway? I don't dislike them, I'm just frustrated about being here, I guess. It didn't seem safe to tell Brenton what I really thought. And besides, he might have information I wanted. I needed to be the one asking questions. What about Seta, though? She seems nice, maybe. He made a face. Seta? Don't trust her. I like how I just said he made a face, <laughs> and it was like, I have to look at it to see what emotion it is. Really? Why am I not surprised? She's cruel, and she lies. Just like everyone else right. here. Okay, so the fact that Britain doesn't get along with Tristan is confusing to me. Uh, we, we were talking about Seta. Oh, you said everyone yeah. lies. Oh, okay. I considered for a moment, but I suppose he was right. Even Tristan was lying to me in a way. <laughs> I love that. I love fully that she's like, I know that he's lying to me and he's not a human. <laughs> <laughs> then what lie are you telling me? He's lying about it not hurting his hand when he rubs his <laughs> uh, hand through his hair. He just wants to look cool. He choked on his food. He coughed and covered his mouth. I I'm not lying to you. You just said everyone here is a liar. That doesn't mean I am. He frowned and looked clearly offended. I'm not a liar either. Let's promise, okay? I won't lie to you if you don't lie to me. Hmm. He looked at me suspiciously. Okay. I won't lie to you. Good. He was actually pretty naive. But that might mean he could be one of the more honest ones here, if only he wasn't so fond of Eris. Would he help me if I asked him to? I continued to eat. I didn't want to bring up the book yet. He already seemed spooked. There was no reason to push the issue now. We finished our small meal in silence after that. I was too busy thinking about my next move to worry about feeling awkward about the quiet. He stood up and seemed unsure of what to do. Thanks for eating with me, Brenton. No problem, Ellie. Bye. He paused, standing there as if he wanted to say something, but then turned around and left. Okay, bye. Then I was alone, with this broom. Now I could focus on what I wanted to do what next. What is it with us and having brooms in the background? 
I don't know, but there's a broom in the if background. We, the game, we should stick a broom, broom in the background. Stick a broom in the background. It'll be our like step ladder ladder debate. It'll be like if the brooms move. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay. I should probably try to find a way into the library so that I could try to find that book. Even if Seto was lying to me, it was worth a try. Once I had the book, I might know what to do after that. Now the major problem was going to get past Karen. I said that weird, but whatever. Maybe I could get one of the others to help me. Justin claimed to want to help me. He seemed to have the same goal that I did to escape this place. Seta clearly knew more about this place than she was letting on. She was also the one who told me about the book to begin with. Brenton seemed the most trustworthy, if only because he didn't seem to want something from me. He was skittish, but maybe I could convince him to help me. Karen might have the book, which means he could have an idea on how to leave. He would probably take some convincing, though. So, which one? Oh, is this my choice? Oh, it's the one! It's the good one. Uh, I guess that would be where the choice would happen in the full version. Yeah. About who you're going Yes. I... I'm down to play the finished game. I'm ready to play the finished game. I, I had such a good time right now. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much. Okay, so Jamie Scribbles. Jamie Scribbles. Scenarios. Hill. Artist. Illuminate 001. Okay, thank you, Illuminate 001. So I, I, it's going too fast. I can't make it but go any slower. I know. Oh, voice actors. That I can get here. Abigail Turner. Wes, Abigail, C Dub. Oh, C W. Oh, yeah, I remember Kickstarter seeing that. In the... TBA. Oh, I want to be in the Kickstarter backers thing. I got, I got to, I got to back it on Kickstarter. I guess. Yeah, but <laughs> for any of y'all watching, um, so definitely keep an eye out for the Kickstarter yeah. coming in July potentially. Yes, that's what the links say. Robin, what are your thoughts on this game? Because I have got many of them. I, my thoughts are positive. My thoughts are positive. My thoughts are that I like Karen, which is a controversial statement <laughs> nowadays, but I'm not afraid <laughs> to say it. I like Karen. And this is you Sarah, can and she's. We, we don't, I didn't hire her because she has taste. I hired her because she's my you friend. You didn't hire me. You didn't <laughs> hire me. This is technically my channel. <laughs> I like Karen. Still don't know what he is. I know what everybody else is, except for the one I don't. I don't understand. Well, she's what he is. spider connected. She's this spider. one's a dragon. Yeah. Basically, the only that person one. we're sure about is Brenton. Basically, the only people we're sure about is Brenton. Yes, because he's just like, "Yeah, I'm a dragon," and he said it within like three minutes of knowing him. And I'm like, you know what? Iconic. And I can also just like look at him and tell because he's got scales and claws yeah. and well, horns and. Do fire. you think that? Seta no. is a, no, you don't think I know this. Uh, do you think that Seta is a spider? Yes, I think Seta is a spider. Maybe that's why she wears that big old skirt. Is she's hiding all her spider legs? <laughs> it's funny if they hadn't actually like like finished the script and they didn't know where they were going with that, and I just like gave them the best idea ever. <laughs> no, it makes I me got... think of that um, aerial comic. Yeah, <laughs> with the <laughs> <eight> legs. <laughs> How many legs do humans have? Eight? I think I might play this on my own time and try to get that dead end ending because I'm very I'm curious. I'm sure where it it's is. like if you decide to kill the spider. It said it's like, fuck no, and she kills you. Yeah. Um, I have no idea what Karen is. I could not begin to guess. I couldn't even begin to tell because you Because maybe I need unicorns can enchant people? Maybe. I mean, the horse outside wasn't a horse but could enchant us. But it was weak. I don't know. I don't know if that means anything. What if uh, let's look at our Karen art. is the hmm. is the horse from outside? Yeah, maybe. But he is that to... horse in the gallery. <sighs> okay, we got the bad hair time. We got this we good get time. We didn't get setas. We got that. Misc there, there you go. Dress. This is for yeah. you. Yeah, that's my we'll, new we'll wallpaper. Keep right <laughs> we'll keep this in the background while we talk. While we talk. Um, I just, I'm really feeling good about this. I wish it was already out, honestly, because definitely when this comes out, we're gonna have to come back Mood. and make some, make some choices, make some, do some kissing. Yeah, we'll have to figure out who we're gonna kiss. I'm gonna kiss all of them all at once. Is that an option? All of them at one time. That'd be really tough. I only have two lips, but I'll make it work. 
all right well i'm looking forward to this i'm gonna leave all the relevant links in the description so if you want to check it out you can and this is a free demo again so you know give it a shot it's a lot of fun maybe you can find that freaking set of art that we didn't find by killing her spider yep 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 that is weird but i still like her all right all right bye farewell